And moving to the coronavirus front, today the new rules went into effect, easing the quarantine restrictions on students up to age 18, who will no longer have to isolate after coming into contact with someone infected with COVID, provided they show no symptoms and test negative for two consecutive days. But not everybody is happy with these changes, especially the National Teachers Union, which called the Wildcat walkout in protest at a change it says puts educators at risk. Now, the National Labor Court did block the walkout after government lawyers filed an injunction calling it a violent and political strike. Union leaders, union leaders and education ministry officials have begun holding talks on this dispute. Well, joining us now for more is Achaz Agam, head of the Kindergarten uh, Israeli P Parents Associate Parents Association, joining us from Tel Aviv, excuse me. Achaz, let me get your reaction, your feeling about this change, which on one hand certainly is beneficial for students who don't have to isolate, for their parents who don't have to stay at home. But yes, maybe teachers have some legitimate concerns here about getting infected with coronavirus. I think that the, 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 the fear of the teachers it is rightful, and, and they say it, is, it is okay that they are fear, but I really believe that it's not. This is this is not really the issue. The issue is that uh, Yaffa Ben David wants to be ahead of the uh, of the teacher uh, association, and she's making. Uh, excuse me, but she's trying to to replace the the prime minister or the minister of health or minister of education, and she's doing whatever she likes. There's a. a, a Certain fear that the teachers can be, but uh, after two years that our kids been in a, in a Zoom school or at home and they isolated from other kids or in quarantines, it's really time that they'll have uh, stability. They'll be back to school, to kindergartens, to be where 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 they need to be. The damage to their health is much more uh, severe if they'll stay home than go to to the uh, institutes. And even the teachers understand that. If you've seen today, a lot of teachers uh, don't agree with uh, whatever Yafa uh, Ben David tried to do. And I think she, she just uh, threw a hell Mary. She didn't really believe that uh, this strike is going to happen. Right. I, I want to say there are some teachers in the union themselves that criticize Yaffa ben -Davi, but I don't want to zero in on that. I want to look at kind of the bigger picture here. There were some health officials that did advise the government to at least wait a week before putting this in effect, because there's also concern about the impact of infections on students. There's a medical condition disease called PIMS that's been de detected uh, in, uh, in some cases among children recovering from COVID, and concern that maybe the government in principle, agree, yes, to lighten quarantine rules, but they went a little too quick with this decision. Look, I believe, and I believe that the new government believes that education comes first and our kids come first. They need their health and their health, their first health, is to be in the institute that they're going to. It's a real problem that they need to go to quarantine and, and then back to school and again to quarantine, again back to school. The damage is too severe, and I, I, I'm really happy that someone took a brave decision and, and put the education ahead of everything. It's not easy. Look, if we want to stay with the, all the quarantines right now, it's going to be a lockup for all, all, all Israel because all the kids, all the, the small kids, the kindergarten kids will be in school. Their parents have to be with them in-house, and then they'll have a quarantine for the whole country together. This is a, a brave decision, a good decision. It's a decision, it's a decision that we ask for. Uh, we had other uh, um, suggestions that will be uh, less severe, but I, I think it's a good decision. It's something that even goes uh, beyond that. It's something that the government says, we believe in our kids, we believe in our futures. We're starting to put their effort in their mental health, and it's a good decision. All right, that may be or not, but certainly people are going to be looking to see if those infection rates among teachers rises, which could even just be a practical problem because school staffs are, uh, during the Omicron wave are already. All the teachers are red stains. Don't forget that. Right. The kids, uh, especially under the, the age of five, can be vaccinated, but all the teachers are supposed well, to be vaccinated. That, that that's true. That, that, the that, new rules. One of the problems, and, we'll have to, and I don't I'm really sorry, understand why. Uh, Achaz, we'll have to we'll have to end it on there. But you're correct that, of course, it's a mandatory now for teachers to be vaccinated. Achaz Agam, thank you, thank you for joining us on iTunes.